Hi guys, it's Salstack. Today we are going to take a look into a browser extension called Averify. I'm going to give a quick review and also a demonstration and going to show you why you might need it and what are the use cases for it. Okay, without further ado, let's go into the video. First, I just found out this plugin yesterday when I was browsing through it and I shared it on my Facebook community and immediately so many people uh, started purchasing it and since the price is really great deal currently, so they purchased it and they found it really useful. So I thought why not uh, create a video with a small demonstration which might help a uh, bit more to get uh, understanding of the this extension. First, this is a browser extension, but they are primarily focused on uh, Chrome, but it will work on all Chromium based browser. So you can use it on pretty much anything like uh, Microsoft Edge, Vivaldi, which I'm using now, or Brave, um, all the other Chromium based uh, browser, it will work perfectly fine. And also they are planning to bring Firefox support. Uh, by the time if you're watching this video on a later stage, it might be already available, but currently as of now, it will be available within another one month. So pretty much it can work with uh, any number of browser. First, let me go through what is this plugin. Uh, first, this is a, a productivity toolkit for web developers or any people who are working with WordPress or building website, it really helps you to uh, do the designing process, brainstorming process really easy. Uh, they have a couple of uh, tool set which they have included inside this plugin which will help you to do that. A uh, couple of tools such as uh, inspector where you can inspect HTML to find out the element and all its properties and CS you can edit it, view it. I will show all the demonstration. Color eyedropper where you can pick and choose the color uh, of the element you are looking for it. Uh, I will show it build with uh, to view all the technologies which is behind that operating website. You can see it responsive quickly. You can see uh, how a web page URL will look on multiple devices in both portrait and landscape mode. Assets will show which will show all the resources or media which is existing within that particular web page you can quickly download it if you want all this thing and screenshot is self-explanatory you can immediately take a, a section or a full page screenshot using this tool basically uh, to be honest uh, if you go into a uh, chrome store you might probably even find a free plugin for each of this thing a uh, feature individually the cool concept behind uh, why the Averify is pretty much interesting is they integrated, they know these tools are really important and to give a productivity measure when we are doing web development design. So they integrated into a one single platform with a really cool UI interface, which gives this um, gives it a unique selling point. Otherwise, if you prefer, you probably uh, try to install around uh, five or six different plugins uh, extensions and you can probably try to use this single features uh, if you are looking for a free alternative and this Averify will, will work with pretty much all the browsers also though so those are the biggest selling points which will which uh, makes this a unique proposition okay without further uh, delay let me directly show you the demonstration uh, you can see that I have opened up um, one of our project uh, and if I go over here and click on it uh, there are the this is a plugin uh, you can pretty much seeing if you go this this is the setting you can disable the settings you can uh, I don't uh, disable if you don't want any element or anything which you affects your productivity you can just uncheck it and it will go away from the browse uh, plugin and you can redo it you can manage the license everywhere and you can see the zoom so you are pretty much control over everything here uh, if I go back and if I go here, it is divided into the main features just I mentioned it. I'm going to go by one by one. First, this is the inspect which will be the most uh, complex one. Where as soon as I clicked on inspect, if I go through any of the elements, you can see automatically it surrounds that particular element with a, a red line and also automatically it shows all the element details. You can see whether it's your, if I click here, it, now it's just uh, showing it for all the elements but if I click on one of this you can see it's automatically selected it shows it's a it's a h2 it can we can see the color behind this we can see the text behind it if I see the click on the color you can see it is automatically copied to the dashboard also the exact code shows the size value class and you can see what is the 
uh, code and if I go here it will show you the actual way how it will display it and if I see what is the font size and if I go into a different element now it's going to and the cool thing is you can see it is not immediately closing so if I do want to see the elements of multiple elements I just keep on clicking on it and I can see all the elements here and also you can see if I click here it goes to the directly to the Google font uh, URL if it's already available so I can check it immediately there if I click here I can do that and also cool thing is if I go here and I can immediately change the values also so I can not only just view these elements but if I want to make any changes for example I want to do uh, 12 I can do that all these elements are possible if I want to do that I want to increase the font size to 35 pixels I can do that all these things are possible from here so that is what inspect tool does the first one and they have provided a couple of uh, other options also for example I can pause it in that case if I do any clicking or anything like that browsing to a different page it does not affect and it will not show that property so I can resume it now it will go into its default mode if I click here it now it will show you the uh, scale of it like uh, where the element is placed within that web uh, web page you can see it shows in the spaces which is available at the top and the element page so it just shows you the visual way of seeing uh, where that element is particularly located it's really useful when you are want to uh, identify the margins on how much space you have given do you want to place it correctly so you can use that uh, if I click here it will highlight all the elements within the page so you can immediately see okay this is an element uh, I can see all the HTML element it try to highlights it and you can uh, see it immediately if I click here it will show all the fonts which is uh, with available uh, within this particular web page you can see the body uh, what is the font it's using for DB uh, tags what are the fonts header what is the font all these font you can see for every uh, text element within this particular web page you can see what are the fonts uh, which I'm currently using for it so that is font uh, this is what we called edit mode when I click on edit mode I can directly change the uh, text from here itself for example uh, I don't want to put the year so I can see immediately the visual changes for example uh, if I want to change the number and see what is happening here so I can do that I need to select it correctly and you can see I can do that if I click on button and what are the buttons uh, changes I can do it from here and text also I can do it from here you can see all the elements are changeable when we click on the edit symbol sign and if I click on here now we see the color palette which is currently be used from this particular page we can see these are the colors which are getting used here since I, there is so much colors because we uh, put the logo deals uh, uh, the logos of the deal so probably that's why it's picking up ton of colors but it will show you the color so you can easily identify if you're going for a business website or something you can identify their brand colors and prioritize based on that so you can see and also if you click on any of it it's pretty much copied to your clipboard if you go paste it somewhere you can see the XR code which is getting displayed all these things and this is another cool feature where you can now uh, let me uh, go here now we can hide the element I'm not sure about totally sure about the what is the differences between these two I'm not that much uh, technical into web development but basically when we click on here and click on some element it will automatically hide that element from the web page for example uh, I can undo it also from here I let's say for example uh, I don't want this particular text is visible so I want to see how it will look like I don't want to uh, see how this uh, how this page will look like without this particular frame or something I can do that so I can do that and it will automatically show it's hidden and also if I go into remove also it pretty much does it but I'm not sure entirely sure of what is the differences between that and finally a search icon where we can search all the elements uh, within this for example if I put P uh, I'm searching all the paragraph tags within it currently it has over uh, 105 paragraph tags if I try to search something like maybe I'm not sure table uh, not sure ninja not happening uh, accordion uh, footer maybe 
I'm not sure what are the things. Uh, we can search by ID, class, and tags. All these things are possible. I uh, can see div. It comes in with all the div elements and things. So that is basically the inspector feature set of this plugin. Uh, if I go into color eyedrop, uh, eyedropper, it's really easy to understand. All you need to do is go here and click here. Now you are in a color uh, eyedropper picking mode. Click anywhere you want, and it will automatically keep this open. So. You, if you want to see multiple colors, you don't need to close and forget about it. Uh, here you can, I see this color, I can see this color. This zoom window also helps you to correctly pinpoint it. And I can copy paste this. Uh, if I buy click here, I can get the RGB values. If I click here, I can get the directly the exact code values. All these things, I can close it. All these things are possible from uh, eye color drop picker. Asset is another self-explanatory tab where as soon as I clicked on it, it automatically picks up all the uh, medias which I'm using within this particular web page. You can see the images it's showing you currently inside this uh, particular web page. All these images are there. If I go into SVG, if there is any SVG uh, media files, it will show it you. And video, uh, this is not detected because I'm not uploaded the video into the website. Rather, I'm just embedding it from YouTube. But if that page contains a video which is directly uploaded to the website, it will show you the website. Uh, media also here where you can either download it from here or you can click on save all to get all the images so or if you just go to your uh, select uh, open image in new tab it will open that particular image in new tab so uh, apart from that you can just simply copy paste from here uh, so that is what uh, let me go here uh, assets uh, tab the responsive tab is where we can enter any website URL for example it automatically shows uh, the existing website URL but you can also use other website for example this one as soon as I paste it there and put a refresh should uh, let me go Let's see can see it is getting refreshed as soon as it happens I can immediately see how my website will look like on multiple uh, mobile devices with various resolutions so I can easily scroll through it and see how my website will look like on each and every single devices whether do I want to show the uh, mobile device uh, frame or not if I took just showing you without the frames according to your productivity use case you can do it do I want in a portrait mode or a landscape mode on these devices I can show it and I can also zoom in uh, zoom out to see multiple different you can see it's showing a Nexus 5 Galaxy 5 Pixel 2 all these things and up to iPad mini so it's really make the process easy and we can immediately see how our website is going to look like on multiple devices so that is what uh, uh, responsive features does and if I go into the next set of feature uh, is built with this is really good uh, let me go into the digital marketing blog which I recently built so I'm pretty sure with all the technologies which I used once I click through it what it's going to do is it's going to ask a captcha uh, if you are having a bad IP uh, basically once you completed the captcha it does it through a uh, built with um, technology let me see uh, it, whether it's showing you. you can see automatically it picks up all the technologies behind this uh, website which are the used you can see it's showing the IP address it's showing you where it's originated from all these things and also it automatically show what are the analytic and tracking I'm using what are the widgets I'm using inside this uh, WordPress blog it automatically picks all these are correct Astra um, security extra security lightweight social it also picks up frameworks what are the theme i'm using and what are the other technologies which i'm using i'm also able to see from here you can see wordpress ssl certificate email hosting provider web service operating service and all the other things it automatically picks up everything and if we click on here it will go up uh, with the uh, build with for some reason it's not going in and it will take you into more uh, technology so you can immediately identify what a website is using behind the scene uh, without even leaving your uh, browser tab uh, finally it is another easy uh, feature but if we click here you can see I go on into the screenshot mode now I have the option to do different stuff first I can get a full 
page uh, screenshot i'm going to click here and you can automatically see it automatically did a screenshot but uh, for some reason the screenshot is bad let me try to do that or i will submit a bug report to see whether it actually get fixed properly it should work uh, for some reason it's not going but i will submit a bug report maybe let's try to see how it will work for this uh, i'm going to see it to see whether it's something with that particular website of mine let's see mm, i'm getting a bug on this I, I will check with this and hopefully i can get it fixed before this video goes live uh, let me try it again and see whether that works for some reason that is not working i am trying to i'll try to report the bug and i will let you guys know the feedback about it but it also have a couple of other variation where you can either capture visible area and it will automatically capture the visible area with the option to save and download and if you click uh, this one uh, capture all tab uh, take screenshot capture all tab it ideally will capture all the screenshot of every tab here and it will show you guys for it so those are the main features of this plugin and demonstration they also have a good roadmap you can access the roadmap from the official website under the footer you can see the link here you can find all the feature request progress and all these things so if you enjoy it please need to check out the uh, this extension i leave a two link one referral another one is a non referral link you can choose whatever the link you want if you click on the referral and make a purchase i will receive a very very small commission because the selling price is really low but it does not affect your purchase price but helps me to create more videos like this and once again thank you so much for watching this video and if you like to see more videos like this please visit uh, the subscribe button and also consider joining our community at facebook Cheers guys and once again take care and see you guys soon.